welcome to another episode of Cranial Diarrhea. I am Tiff. <laughs> it's very ASMR. I am now deaf, thanks to that microphone oh, blast sorry. in the earphone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we noticed in previous episodes. Is that my microphone working? When I step back, uh, you can't. I'm going to talk like this. Will you hear what I'm trying to say? I can hear you <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> We have no subject this week. We forgot. So this is going to be this for 30 minutes. So this week, well, before we get started, I'm sorry. Is that really loud for you? <laughs> no, that's fine. You're good. Go okay. ahead. So this week, um, before we get started, I just want to say a really quick congratulations to my Vanderbilt Commodores. Yes. Who just beat the Florida Gators at home for the first time since 1988. Well, I'm going to congratulate them on two SEC wins in a row. Yes. Yeah. So. I'm really excited about where we're headed, and I look see, forward unlike, to. Unlike some people when somebody else's team is having a great season, and they're like, stop it. No. So it's, I can say congratulations. There's a difference between the way that I present it because I'm a little more humble when someone calls you and they're like, yeah, about them big orange balls. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> that was the, uh, um, the meaning of the message that you were no, conveying. The to meaning me. of the message was if you you're remember, always going to be little brother. <laughs> if you remember correctly, the meaning of the message was, they ranked them number one. I really don't think they're a number one team. That's after you spent. Five well, I had to have minutes. a little bit of time just messing with you. Mm -hmm. But see, unlike that, I just say congratulations to Vanderbilt. Job well done. I I just have to say Vanderbilt wait, fans I are just, just so say, mean. Oh, are we? <laughs> are we? I think we're rather humble. Um, I actually did see him put newspapers away today. <laughs> I. I I think, so Dad and I are actually going to the Vandy UT game uh, next week. And so I think that that game, while I don't expect Vanderbilt to put up, pull out a win, I really think that it's going to be a good I, game. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's going to be a close game. And I think, I'm not saying they will, but I think they will have a shot to pull out a win. I think they're going to come in and they're going to, fight and i that's exciting that's, for me because the past couple of years that we've gone to the game and there wasn't much of a fight that's <laughs> one thing i will say about the new coach at vanderbilt that he's instilled he's got some mental toughness going on in those players yeah you give him a couple of more years when he gets some depth in that roster i mean they're already improving i'm not saying that they are mm -hmm. vastly improved now but they're going to get even better but see as a tennessee fan i can give credit Anyway, so that ends our sports segment. <laughs> yes. Now let's talk about the weather. It's cold <laughs> as crap. It's cold. We don't like it. That's the end of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What else do they do? Oh, top stories. <laughs> top stories. No. Uh, so um, let's, let's, I'm just, just going to reel us back in. Um, but we're having so much fun. So this week we're actually... Did you see where Elon Musk fired all those people at uh, Twitter? And it's running better than ever with only 75 people now? No, it's running fine. I was on it this morning. Everybody's bragging about you it. You get on the Twitter? I do. I get on the Twitter when I'm on the... <laughs> when he gets on the Twitter when he's on the shitter. <laughs> no, I do. I, I have a Twitter account. So I get on there and I... Uh, <laughs> Read different things. Follow Didn't different know things. you had a Twitter account. Yes, I do a, a lot of sports and politics. I think we have a Twitter account. I think we do. I don't remember what it is though. I don't either. <laughs> but I would say it's probably cranial diarrhea. I no, I think it's like cranaria <laughs> underscore pod or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> cranaria underscore flush underscore. Obviously, we check it so often. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not even sure that I'm following that. <laughs> I need to check. I'm sure oh, I am. Wow. I'm sure I am. But yes, I, I do get on Twitter. I don't <laughs> do no Facebook. There's no point following Facebook it when no one's me, ever on it. Facebook is just like a boring thing where people just want to do drama crap. So I don't do that. 
I just keep so. Facebook um, to post pictures of my family and stuff because I have a lot of extended now, family. See, I like to look at pictures, stuff, you know, so. things like that. But yeah. everybody wants to do so much stupid drama on there. I'm just like, eh, I very I rarely deleted post it. anything. I'm thought, more of a stalker. Like, I just get on and look at everybody else's I shit. thought I closed my account, but evidently I just deleted it off my phone and thought it was closed. That's not how that works. <laughs> that sounds like it. But I don't look at it, so I don't really care. <laughs> okay, well, that was not reeling anything back in. So I'm That gonna, was our technology. Segment. I'm going to try to reel us back in. So this week, we're talking about the Mandela effect. Ooh. Ooh. I like Mandela cookies. You know, you buy that box of the Mandela wafers. They're really good. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, by Nabisco, they're little, they're round about like that. They're kind of brown, on golden brown on one side and a little lighter on the other. And like, you put peanut butter on them. The little Mandela wafers. Vanilla wafers? Oh. You're an idiot. So I researched the wrong thing? You're an idiot. Did you really, if you researched about I was cookies, all into the Mandela And like, wafers. it's literally all about cookies. <laughs> Listen, I'm just happy you did some fucking research. <laughs> The funny thing I don't was, even care what it's about. I'm just happy that you did some work. The funny thing was is watching your thought process to get the vanilla wafers. Because I didn't know what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> even granddaughter looked at me like, what in the world are you talking about? All right, so let's talk about this. I, I really found this quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. Because do you want to explain it or you want me to kind of explain it and then we'll go into it? You explain it because I okay. didn't I didn't so, do that. The, the Mandela effect is basically kind of the basis for like alternative realities or parallel universe type theories. Mm. Because what it is, it's like we have different memories of certain events that may not be exactly accurate as far as how it was recorded in history. And the, the premises of this is because we all live our own alternative universes. It's kind of like the, the theory behind it is kind of like... A multiverse. We, yeah, we kind of like all experience things differently. And every experience, when we make a decision, it splits the, the line of universes or realities. Literally, the multiverse. But I, I don't know that I buy into that. Because, like, if I decide to stop at racetrack and get gas, that's not a decision I think would split every an alternate decision. reality. Every maybe. Decision. Maybe. Here's, here's how I think about it, okay? So... Let's let's say you're walking. Okay, you're you're a principal, right? So let's let's say you're walking down the school hallway, right? They have I don't know if they still do, but they used to. Have, got her hand I, up. I understand okay. that. They used to have these uh, double doors in the hallways, right? Mm -hmm. And you had this, you know, this side and this side. I don't mm -hmm. know what the purpose mm -hmm. of them was, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's say it's for people to walk through. Let's say that usually I go through the right door. Okay. okay. No no issues. But today I decide I'm going to actually go through the left door. I end up bumping into someone and meeting someone that changes the course of my life. Maybe you should have just went through the right door. I didn't say it was for the worse. <laughs> you didn't say it was for the what? better. Calm down. I think you're going to add on to this. What? I just want to say every decision you make, every single like second, like how I've decided to talk, it branches off. It's like a branch things and it just branches off so there are multiple branches of your timeline that are being like changed or affected every single second you make a decision but i also i have to wonder how that feeds into the premises of folks that believe every decision is a predetermined decision led by spirituality or a higher being because if that's the case then there would be no alternative universe See what I'm saying? It's like I don't paralleling think, Okay, theories. so like I'm, I don't think, I don't know. Some some people may think that, but I don't think that every decision is predetermined. I think that it's it's kind of what she was touching on, right? There are different See, I, branches and, and the outcomes of all these different decisions that you make, those might be predetermined, but I don't know that the decision you're making is, okay. it's like those Goosebump books, like... Like with the endings that you choose. Yeah, choose your well, own ending. Here's the thing. I understand the decision alters the course that you're taking, but I don't think it splits off and has two courses at that well, point. Hang on. 
Well, it's not just that decision, right? Because this decision leads to that decision leads to that right, decision. Right, but I'm just saying, every decision doesn't split off to a... There would be so many different alternative realities. There are. Yeah, yeah I just don't. Li- 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 listen, okay? Li- 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 listen. Shut up. Let me find it. Okay, so, say, you know how you got married, right? So you just got married? No, I didn't. Okay, you know how Nanny got married? Yes, too? that I know. Yes, <laughs> that I know. reality where you guys never got married. Can I go live in that reality? It's a lot quieter there. <laughs> it's a lot quieter. <laughs> and I don't get woke Mabel up at 2 o'clock dog, in the morning. Mabel is their dog, one of their there's, dogs. There's a reality where I was never born. There's a reality where she was never born. There's a reality where you were never See, born. See, I don't, I don't believe that. In I think, that reality, I think he never every, got my mom drunk and knocked her up. I think your reality <laughs> is your me. reality based on the decisions you make. I don't think it splits off and there's an alternative reality going on at I, the same time. There, we've there we've gone off on this crazy tangent and I yes think we anyway back to the mandela effect but anyway the basis of it is and here's where i have a problem with the mandela effect the basis of it is is our memory is altered from what's recorded in history but here's the thing our memories are influenced by our values and our experiences two people can see the same thing and remember it differently so I don't think that's a Mandela effect. I think that's a human effect. I don't know, because you, you say that. Like, two people could see the same thing and remember it extremely differently. However, <clears throat> these examples, especially the examples that I have for you today, so many people remember them a certain way, and it's not that way. So okay. it, it doesn't make sense that it's you perceive things one way and I perceive things that's another. So okay. it's just all wrong. Let's do this then. Let's go through some of the examples, but instead oh. of just like, Tell me, like, like, I don't know how to phrase this, but like, no, I, say, I have a whole thing. What I'm going to do, okay. I already know. And, what I'm and I'm going to try to give you my perception of an okay. answer to that. Okay. And let's see how it matches. All up. right. Um, are you familiar with the painting of Henry the Eighth with a turkey leg? No, but a turkey leg sounds good. <laughs> okay, then this example is not going <laughs> to do anything. I don't. Um, just, just to because I wrote it down and I okay. Yeah, go ahead um, and explain People it. have a memory of a painting of Henry VIII eating a turkey leg, though there is no such painting in existence. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever... But a okay, turkey so leg here's the next one, good. okay? The most famous line from Star Wars. When you think Star Wars, you think Darth Vader. What is the most famous line? From Darth Vader? Yes. Luke, I am your father. Wrong. That's not the line. It's, no, I am your father. Okay. But that just means my perception of it's wrong, my memory of it's wrong. That doesn't mean there's a Mandela effect and there's an alternate timeline. But there are so many people that think that's the line. Because here's the thing. Okay. If, if you think about it, just... This show is going to piss me off. I can already tell. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. This show is going to piss me off. Next example. Okay. Snow White, the evil queen. What is her line? I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't know. You've never seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? No, I know she gives Snow White an apple or She something. uses a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? You've heard that line, correct? Somewhere, yeah. Okay, that's not the right line. It's magic mirror on the wall. Hmm. But I remember it as mirror, mirror on the wall. Okay? How do you spell... The Meyer and Oscar Meyer. I know it's spelled different than you would think. I think it's it's either M Y E R S or M E Y E R S. I can't remember which way they do it. I know because it caught my attention on the package. The actual spelling is M A Y E R. Okay, so there was something different about it because it's like Mayer. I remember it as M E Y E R. Okay, I I just knew it was something different. I can't remember what it was. Um, do you know where New Zealand is? Yeah, it's where it's supposed to be. I hope. If not, we have a global shift and we're in trouble. <laughs> Some people have memory of New Zealand being northeast rather than southeast of Australia. I was thinking it was below Australia. Yeah. But I wasn't, I mean, I don't, I'm not a geologist. Um, is it the Baron Steen Bears or the Baron Stain Bears? It's Stein. S T E I N. Baron Stain. Okay. But, but I specifically remember the cover of a, I had a picture book oh, when I was sure. a kid. What are the that Baron was Baron Steen. What are they? They're, 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 
It's but, just a family bear. But also, <laughs> couldn't that be in translation? Like, because isn't that like a German based book and the translation from no German idea. to English could cause know. that I didn't, difference? In, why would I look that up? That's dumb. I'm just wondering. Do you remember a movie called Shazam? A movie? From the 90s? There was a show in the About, 70s. No. So there was a movie in the 90s no, called Shazam. It starred Sinbad. You remember Sinbad? Yeah, the comedian. Yeah. Um, he was I, a genie. I saw him in right? concert. He was I hilarious. have a vague memory of this movie. It, it doesn't exist. Uh, I have no... It doesn't exist. I remember Sinbad because we went and seen him in concert. Do you know who Pikachu is? Not Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I guess I guess a little rat P- dog somewhere. Pikachu from Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Um, many people remember him as having a black tipped tail, which is I do. However, the tail is actually solid yellow. But could that be a marketing ploy where he has actually had a black tipped tail at some point? My name is Dale, and I have to go against everything you're saying because I you're stupid. Um, Mickey Mouse. Does Mickey Mouse wear suspenders? You remember Mickey Mouse wearing suspenders? The classic Mickey Mouse. I do too. I do too. However, he does not. Mickey Mouse does not have suspenders. Hmm. Um, Is it sex in the city or sex and the city? I thought it was and, but I don't know. It is and. I thought it was in. I thought it was and, but I didn't know. Here's one for you. You like MASH, right? Yeah, I do like MASH. Um... Taters. Do you remember the character death of Colonel Walter Radar O'Reilly? No, because he made it home safely, and he was a successful farmer. Okay, so a lot of people... It was Colonel Henry Blake. A lot of people remember his death. No, it was Colonel Henry show. Blake that died on um, his way home. Okay. When you think you're familiar with I Love Lucy... So. Yeah. Somewhat. Do you remember the line that Ricky Ricardo always used to say when Lucy was in trouble? Uh, I remember something. Oh, what's it? Oh, Lucy or something? Lucy, you got some explaining to do. Remember? Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Okay. Yeah. That's, he never said that. He never said that. He act, uh, He actually said, I, I didn't write down what he actually said, but he said something else. <laughs> He said, Lucy. It wasn't that. He said, Lucy. But I remember that line. He said, Lucy. You and you remember trouble. that line. Okay. I remember it from somewhere. Um, How do you spell Flintstones? No, that's not right in any universe. Like, Flintstones. The Flintstones. That's what I'm saying. I failed as a parent. You don't remember Fred Flintstone? Wilma Flintstone? Barney and Betty Rubble? Bam Bam? Sounds like somebody's done some crap. Anyway, I remember it as Flintstones. It's actually Flintstones. Oh, with a T? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Smokey Bear. Smokey the Bear? Mm-hmm. What about him? He's Smokey the Bear, right? I'm not really sure. I don't think he really exists. I think he's a No, character. I mean, he, that's his name. Well, actually, I think his proper name is Smokey Bear, but I think that oh, he was added to you, man. Show. It is. Smokey Bear. You're an ass. All right. <laughs> because I knew Smokey Bear. Hannibal Lecter. What was his famous line? Hello, Hello Clarice. Clarice. Remember? No. I never saw the movie. Everyone remembers him saying this line. Hello, Clarice. The only thing I think I've ever he saw never... in that movie was like, did they have him like on a two-wheeler in a straight jacket or something? Yes. He never said, hello, Clarice. But it's on YouTube. He simply says, good morning. Hmm. Okay. Um, risky business. I've watched that movie. It's been so long. I think Tom Cruise. Wasn't Tom Cruise in it, I think, yes. maybe? He slides across the room in his underwear and shirt. Yeah, I remember that scene. Something okay. Like that. Um, 
since you never saw it. Do you remember sunglasses? Sunglasses? Do you remember him wearing sunglasses when he slides across? Oh, I couldn't tell you if he did or okay. not. Maybe, I remember maybe sunglasses. Maybe on top of his head or something? No, I, I remember know. him. I remember sunglasses. There were no sunglasses. I don't, uh, I couldn't tell you on that, to be honest with you. God. You're killing me, Smalls. C-3PO. You know who that is? Yeah, he's in Star Trek. Star Wars. Yeah, Star Wars. Okay. A lot of people, rem- me, myself included, remember C-3PO as being completely gold. Completely gold from I head don't think to toe. So. No, he had some kind of thing. No, I remember him being completely gold. Well, apparently his right leg is actually silver from the knee down. I was going to say, it seemed like there was silver on one like ankle area, but I... My name is Dale, and I know everything. Fruit of the Loom. I'm not answering anymore. Fruit of the Loom. The icon. The Fruit of the Loom icon. Okay. I remember. Okay. What do you what do you remember it looking like? The cornucopia. Grown men grown dressed as fruit. I remember a cornucopia with fruit in it. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I remember the fruit individually. But it's not individual. A it's a pile of fruit. Well, that's what I mean, but not like in something. Yeah, so it's actually a pile of fruit. But I think I just remember the commercial more than anything. Um. Okay, Sally Fields, her acceptance speech. You like me. You really like me. I'm sure you've heard that line before, right? I remember that line. <laughs> well, apparently she what never was... says it. She says, I can't deny the fact that you like me. Right now, you like me. What was she like accepting an award for like a movie or something? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um <clears throat> the Challenger I Explosion. I never watch award shows. Challenger Explosion. I remember the event, but to be honest with you, I was You don't remember what year it was? I remember I was young. Okay. So It was in the eighties, right? A lot of people some people remember it being in nineteen eighty four. Some remember it being in eighty five. It was actually in eighty six. I was gonna say I remember I was in school. So that would be um, my senior year, yeah. Uh, Publisher's Clearinghouse. Okay. You remember Ed McMahon and Publisher's Clearinghouse? I do remember Ed McMahon. Never happened. Ed McMahon did happen. I saw the commercial. Never happened. Yeah, that's false. I saw the commercial. It, I Ed did McMahon. too, but they're saying it never happened. And you yeah. cannot find anything, bet, any evidence that it happened. I bet we could find a commercial with Ed McMahon. We can't. And Publishers they don't exist. Ed I don't know how he's about to say M-C-M-A-H-O-N, I think. Okay, so Looney Tunes. How do you spell the tunes in Looney Tunes? Isn't it like T-O-O? That's what I thought, too. Or is it T-U? No, it's T-U-N-E-S. Yeah, they spelt it different. Well, obviously, the rest of us are living in a different reality than he is. <laughs> because I was a Bugs Bunny fan. I remember the majority of all those things that don't exist right now. I do remember T U N E S for some reason. That's all I have, and this show is shit. <laughs> I, I see. I just have to wonder. Every party has a pooper. That's why we invited you. Party pooper, party pooper. Publisher clearinghouse. I just have to wonder, and this is just the skeptic in me because. I, I'm just not sold on the concept. I do think we all have different memories, but I think a lot of times maybe some of those memories are just tied to things. See, there's Ed McMahon doing Publishers Clearing House. Right now it's chicken. The chicken looks good, though. Chicken. That's not Publishers Clearing House. That's the that's what American they used to, family. But that's what they used to go by before. They no, that's publishers. a different company. No. That is Follow a separate company. Follow the same. It's not. That's Ed McMahon. But anyway. Do you remember so, Mystery Science Theater 3000? What was it? Mystery Science Theater. I don't. What was, what was that? Where they watch like B-rated movies. And it's like uh, <laughs> is it, the I, robots and the guy. And they're sitting in a theater. And they're like making fun of the movies. No, but it sounds like that. What is that one? The guy that. Where's the top hat? Spin up, spin, spin, gooly. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spin gooly or spin golly. He used to do that with like B or C rated movies. 
and he would kind of like make okay. fun of them. Well, this it's on. You have Netflix, right? Yes. Okay, it's on Netflix. You should check it out because it's really funny. Okay, I'll check that out. I don't know why that popped in my Let, head. Let's go back to the Mandela effect, though. Let's really I don't talk. Want about, to. You don't want to. Let's really talk about this, though. I've lost interest. <laughs> <laughs> so did everybody else about 15 minutes ago. Lost interest. <laughs> After we gave our weather update. <laughs> Completely lost interest. <laughs> but Doc kind of, I mean, I was just making a point. I wasn't trying to be, wow. You're just so contrary. No, I'm just, I'm being logical. Like, versus... but your mind is not open to any of this whatsoever. And I actually, think that's what's like. Actually, I will say this. On the last one we did, I was pretty open to that concept on the flight. And I'm not saying I'm not open to people experiencing things differently. I just don't think there's alternate reality. So somewhere, you're telling me somewhere in an alternate reality, this show is, like, amazing. <laughs> somewhere in an alternate reality, this is probably one of the most subscribed channels. Yeah, so we're going to live in that reality. Mm, no, we're not. There's a few ships there, you can <laughs> Okay, so, so let me ask you this in all seriousness. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to be skeptical. I just have a question. Have you ever... This is one of the things I was reading about. Like, sometimes people will have like i guess a dream sequence or something and it's like a decision they made and it's a it's like a whole different i guess life they experience in the dream from that decision because it they made an dream. opposite de- decision of what they regularly did no and here's here's why okay because when i make a decision i don't do it lightly I am an impulsive person in that once I make a decision, I'm like, now, now it has to happen, now. But to get to that decision, it, it literally took me eight and a half months to pick out a couch, and I didn't even pick it out. My husband got frustrated with me and was like, we're buying this damn couch. But see, I've never had that happen either, but <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. But uh, <laughs> I do remember that. But I just wonder, because that's one of the concepts they were talking about, like sometimes people experience their alternate realities uh like in a dream cycle i guess well i i did have like i've had a few dreams that felt very very real there was one that i we were in an accident um we were in a car accident and i went to the i went to the back seat and my daughter was dead in the back seat so if that's what you're talking about, then... Well, that's kind of what the, the stuff I was reading into was kind of alluding to. So do you think... But then I had a dream, too, about me and Joe Keery in in a haunted mansion playing Scooby-Doo, looking Joe for Keery. clues. <laughs> Joe Keery and Steve Harris. <laughs> so now every time I see him, I, like, we, I just recently been, binge-watched Stranger Things again, and every time I saw him on screen, I was like, there's my Scooby-Doo, Brit, my Scooby-Doo buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know was he doing the voice of Weird. Like we Rumble were just Rocky. looking for clues. We're gonna unmask the ghost. Like I don't know. We never found it. Okay, that I, I just I mean, I have to ask because I mean here's the thing. Okay, let let's just be honest. Is there a possibility all this is true? Definitely. We don't know what all's in the universe and what all's going on. We probably don't wanna know. I mean there could be Klingons circling the earth right now for all we know. Isn't that one of them Klingon? Yeah. Okay. That's See, good. I did good. Look at you. I did good. Look at me. Look, Look at, at me. Hey. <laughs> it's like the Yorg or something. The big box cube. It's like the Korg. I don't know what they called yourself. Borg. Borg. Okay. It was short for cyborg. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Yeah, but you said Korg, which is short for Corgi. <laughs> <laughs> There's a meat. bunch of Corgis <laughs> floating around balls. space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marvel, the rock <laughs> <laughs> okay so whatever but i was close um i'm just gonna be honest with you i'm not what you call a big tv movie person i get bored very easy and have to get into uh, something for those was, of us who have no life <laughs> I was, but even growing up i was always like playing sports or stuff i was like i'm gonna do something I played I, sports. i'm not a tv person yeah you back that Backed it up in basketball. I was the only girl on the team. And my coach was like, oh, you just back your butt into him and like 
scoot them back with your butt. <laughs> and I did that, but I was playing with a bunch of like pubescent boys, so <laughs> but it worked. We went to the championship. <laughs> I like. I think I scored like two baskets. My main thing was just. <laughs> In these times, you would be arrested for like sexual molestation or something. That's okay. My sister, she was on a basketball team too, and she's like super short, and uh, so she would just jump on the other players' backs, <laughs> just riding them down the court. <laughs> Heather, yeah. Oh, that is funny. That that's pretty funny. Anyway nothing to do with what we're it talking doesn't, about but it was funny but i don't know i i guess i'll say this personally i don't believe but there is a possibility it could be out there with the mandela effect i think it's i think it's a thing i think it's a thing you, you really do mm -hmm. and it, you could be 100 percent. you could be right don't i'm not saying Wow, two wins. Two wins. <laughs> hey, wouldn't this win like number five? Yeah. So if they get one more, they're bowl eligible. They're not going to get one more. They have one game left. Oh, yeah. You never know. I'm not going to say never. Pretty sure I know. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. <laughs> I'm going to give credit. Pretty confident that I know what's going to happen. But that's okay. Did you really, I mean, honestly, as a Vandy fan, did you think you would be at a five-win season this year? No. It's 500% improvement. And did you think you would have two SEC wins this year? No. There you uh, go. It's 500% improvement. There you go. That's how that works. <laughs> See? It's all good. It's all gravy in the multiverse. <laughs> oh, my God. It's not multiverse. It's multi. Multi. Multi, multi. It's the like same. Like multiplication? Multiplication. Multiplication. Anyway. <laughs> so I wonder if there's a universe where like Vandy's playing for the national championship. That would be really massive. You think that could be possible? Like Vandy made a hiring coach or James Franklin stayed and that created a different timeline? We don't speak Does that it, name. Do you think it goes like into those aspects, the, the different timelines, or do you think it's just like individual persons? Like, could it be the team thing based he's on what not, a university does? He's not a multiverse expert. I'm not a physicist. <laughs> I, I'm just wondering. I'm just asking. Just questions that I, make you I go, I mean, hmm. I guess. Why not? But then if you're in a team environment, then you have like 80 some odd people making different decisions. So, boy, you're talking about big branches. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see that. Okay, so a line under it's not going to help me see it. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Okay, I can do that. Because he's old. So are you, but you can see. Did that work? What? I hit a button. Which button did you hit? Like, if you hit this one, I can hear applause. You're a pretty old person. I'm just a really old person. <laughs> oh, Lord. With that. I think it's that time. Yeah. So until next time, keep making decisions in your multiverse fruit Multi. loops and all that stuff. Stay fresh, cheese bags.